I recently told a story on here about a child who was in need of a new watch in order to be able to get themselves to school on time. And while most comments on that video were extremely supportive and kind, there are always those people who will say things like, if the parents can't take care of their kids, they shouldn't have kids. But I will gladly take this opportunity to provide some guidance on the two types of poverty so that you can understand how people might fall short every now and then. Have a seat. The first type of poverty is called situational poverty. It's unfortunate because most of the time the people that experience situational poverty have experienced one type of lifestyle and something took it away from them. It could have been a death, it could have been a natural disaster, it could have been loss of a job due to an illness, medical bills. That type of poverty is usually sudden but much easier to overcome. And then we have generational poverty. Generational poverty is a cycle where poverty in that lifestyle is passed down from one generation to the next. We define it as a family having at least two generations in poverty. It is an extremely complex social issue and most of the time people who are living in generational poverty grew up that way, that's the lifestyle that they know, and they also don't have the resources to break that cycle. Does that mean that they don't deserve to have children? I have read more testimonies and talked to more people that have said that their children are what have saved them. Addicts having that drive to get clean, working towards a higher education to provide for their children. Those are the things that will break that cycle. Not to mention that sometimes things just happen and children are such a blessing to this world. But let's have some compassion and remember that people in poverty still deserve love and joy. And many times children are the ones that bring them that. Class dismissed.